Good day Grade Tens. Welcome to our last lesson this week on finance and growth. In this lesson we're going to be looking at compound interest. So far we've only learned about simple interest. Even when we did high purchase it was still simple interest. Now let's talk about compound interest. So compound interest is the interest calculated on the principal amount plus the accumulated interest. In other words what they do is they've got your original amount that you loaned or that you saved and then they add interest to that and then they work out the interest on the original amount plus the extra interest and so on and so on and so on. So this seems complicated but it's not really and we've got a nice easy calculation for it. The formula for it is A equals P times by 1 plus I to the power of N where again your A is the total amount of money either saved or paid out. P is the principal which is either the original amount that that you've invested or it is the original amount of money that you loaned. I is the interest always written as a decimal and N again is the number of years or your number of payments. Right so let's do an example. It says Kyle wants to invest 25,000 Rand into an account that offers a compound interest rate of 7% per annum. How much money will he have in the account at the end of five years? Okay, so this is just a straightforward compound interest calculation. So the first thing that we do is we write down a formula A is equal to P 1 plus I to the N. Okay, we know it's just that formula because they immediately tell us that it's compound interest. They tell us that Kyle wants to invest 25,000 Rand. That means our principal is 25,000. Then it says that our interest rate is 7% per annum. So the interest rate is 7% per annum, so it's 7 over 100 to get it in decimals, so it's 0, 0, 7. And it says how much money, how much money will he have at the end of five years, at the end of five years. So let's do that. A is equal to 25,000 times by 1 plus 0 0.07 all to the power of 5. And to make it easy to put in our calculator we can rearrange this to be 25,000 times by 1.07 to the power of 5 and then we find our calculator and we clear it and we go 1.07 to the power of 5 equals and then I times 25, 1, 2, 3 by it. Guys, you might have different calculators that look a little bit different when you do these things and therefore it might be easier for you to go straight across. Unfortunately, this is my calculator. Not unfortunately, I think it's just good to be able to use all different kinds of calculators. So we get the answer of 35,063 Rand and 79 cents. That's 35,063 Rand. So the answer is 35,063 Rand and I've gone blank and 79 cents and 79 cents 79 cents. Okay so that is the total amount of money that he will have saved up after five years if he had compound interest. So do you see the compound interest gives you a lot more interest than just simple interest. Let's look at another example. Sam borrows money from a bank in order to finance her new business. The bank charges her an interest rate of 12.5% per annum compounded annually. Calculate the amount of money she learned from the bank if she pays off the loan in six years with a total amount of 350000 Okay, so this time they tell us the total amount she paid off was 350,000 Rand. The interest rate was 12.5 over 100, which is 0 0.125. The N, the number of time, number of years she paid off was six years, and they want to know what did she learn? What did she learn? So let's do this. So we've got our formula is A is equal to P, 1 plus plus I to the power of N. So then we have got 350,000 is equal to P times 1 plus 0.125 to the power of 6. 
Therefore, do you agree that P is equal to 350,000 divided by 1.125 to the power of 6? So let's pop that into our calculator, shall we? So we're going to clear it and then we've got 350, 1, 2, 3, divided by bracket 1.125 bracket to the power of 6 equals. So Sam loaned 172,000 rand, 6, I mean 172,644 rand, 172,644.56. So let's write that down. So Sam loaned 172,644 rand and 56 cents. So do you see that she actually paid almost double what she entirely that from the her actual loan. Her loan was 172,000 rand and she paid 350,000 rand. In fact, she paid more than double. Right, let's look at another example. Now this example is a lovely example because I love asking this example or this type of example in the exams. And it says find the annual compound interest rate that makes 5,000 double in three years. Okay, so let's just hang on. So we've got A is equal to P, 1 plus I to the N. Let's not panic just yet, okay? So do you agree that the principal is 5,000 Rand and therefore the amount we get out they said it doubles it so therefore that is 10,000 Rand. The I is what they're asking for and they say that N is three years. Now the reason I like this question is because you don't actually need to have this 5,000 Rand. You could have let the principal be X and the, and the total amount be 2X and the X's were cancelled and you would have been able to do the sum. So if they have said, let's say for example they hadn't given us 5,000 Rand. Let's say they just said find the annual compound interest rate that makes an investment, an investment double in three years. So then our principal would be X and our amount would be 2x, our i would still be question mark and our n would be 3. Let's do this sum and then I'm going to show you how to do this sum and you'll see they're exactly the same and then if you get something like this in the exams at least you won't freak out. So let's do this one. So we've got 10,000 is equal to 5,000 1 plus i to the 3. Okay, so obviously we're going to get everything that's not in the bracket over to the side. So we got 10,000 over 5,000 is equal to 1 plus i all to the 3. So therefore we've got 2 is equal to 1 plus i to the 3. To get rid of the 3, what do we do? We cube root both sides. So we get out our calculator. We're going to go 3, shift of this, of 2. And we get 1.26. So therefore we've got 1.26 equals 1 plus i. Therefore our i is going to be 0 0.26, which is 26%. Now let me do the other question here where I said we didn't know what the amount was. So let's write it up here. Again, we've got a is equal to p 1 plus i to the n. So we've got 2x is equal to x times by 1 plus i to the 3. So then we divide both sides by x to get rid of that x on the right hand side. So that cancels with that and then we've got 2 is equal to 1 plus i to the 3. And do you see at this point here, we're at exactly the same point as that. So to get rid of the 3, what do we do? We cube root both sides and we get that this is equal to 1.26 is equal to 1 plus i. Therefore, we know that i is equal to 1.26 minus 1. So i is 0.26 Therefore, the interest is actually 
percent. So see, see, you can see that they actually don't need to tell you the investment if they give you a ratio. So if they tell you that the investment had doubled, then we just go x and 2x. If they said it tripled, it would go in x and 3x. Right, grade 10, so that is compound interest. You guys need to go and practice and make sure you know how to do these sums and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day. Thank <music> you.